Hello, I'd like to just take a moment to share with you some information about the budget challenges Mount Vernon schools are facing due to the changes made to the state's funding system for schools. It's important for us to begin all of our discussions about our budget with our mission statement and our goal, to emphasize that all of our resources serve one purpose. That purpose is to support the success of all students, specifically to ensure that they graduate with the knowledge and skills required for success in further education, careers, and life. The changes to the state's funding system for schools were the result of the McClary lawsuit, filed in 2007 against the state of Washington. This lawsuit was based on the state's failure to provide ample funding for public schools, as required by the Washington State Constitution. The suit alleged that the state relied on local levies to make up the difference between what the legislature provided and the actual costs of educating students. In 2012, the state Supreme Court ruled in favor of the lawsuit. The legislature complied with the court's mandate in 2018. Their response involved capping most local educational programs and operations, or EPO, levies at $1.50 per thousand of assessed property value, while increasing state funding for schools by, in part, raising state property taxes for education a total of 81 cents per thousand. This was known as the levy swap. As a result of the levy swap, the Mount Vernon School District's educational programs and operations levy has decreased over 60 percent, from $3.93 per thousand of assessed property value to $1.50 per thousand. The state has increased their property tax for schools by 30 percent, from $2.08 per thousand to $2.89 per thousand. The net loss in levy revenue to our district was $5.4 million for the 2018-19 school year. The district did realize an increase in state funding, totaling over $13 million for the current school year. However, when the loss of EPO levy revenues is taken into account, our total increase was just over $8 million. We also experienced a number of increased operating costs for this academic year. These included increases in insurance, special education, and staff salaries and benefits, along with additional supervision for our health rooms, and an updated PE and health curriculum for all of our schools. The total of these increased costs was over $500,000 beyond our increased revenues. We balanced the 2018-19 budget by reducing our curriculum and professional development budgets. While we were able to balance our budget this year, the loss of an additional $5.4 million in local levy funds due to the levy swap in 2019-20 makes our current budget unsustainable. To make matters worse, the state's plan to implement a new insurance program called the School Employees Benefits Board, or SEBB, has an unfunded cost of $1.2 million adding to our budget deficit. The school board has approved a one-time reduction of our fund balance from 5% to 4% to help close our budget gap. Additionally, the Technology and Security Replacement Levy, approved by voters on February 12th, will fund approximately $2 million of technology and security costs that have, up until now, been funded by our EPO levy. However, we must still identify over $3.7 million in expenditure reductions. We are seeking constituent input to help us prioritize budget reductions for the 2019-20 school year. You can participate by completing and submitting the survey, which can be accessed at the link that follows. Thank you so much for your assistance.